I've been getting a lot of requests to do a Based on a True Story episode on various historic fiction movies, but there's kind of a problem with that. Hey, Cypher here. You know, historic fiction is actually pretty hard to criticize. At first you want to say, that could never happen, or why bother making up stuff when you have a whole bunch of good stories to tell anyways, or even how silly it is to come up with something that could never be true. All of which are valid concerns, but historic fiction is not so easily put down. There are degrees of inaccuracy that are acceptable for historic fiction. I can't exactly quantify it, but I can at least put it on a spectrum. Firstly, if it's based on a true story, then it's not fiction. It may be fictionalized, but that's not acceptable when you're talking about a real story. I've said it before and I'll say it again, you don't get to use people as abstract objects for your own musings. Or in other words, you don't get to falsify the truth in the name of art. That's pure slander. I think some inaccuracy is allowable in a based on a true story movie, but only so far as it does not affect the narrative, which is all too easily misconstrued. You can check out some of my previous episodes to see a more in-depth explanation of this. Fiction, on the other hand, is somewhat harder to nail down, but there is a scale of accuracy. I tend to think of it as a spectrum. For twin examples of the opposite ends of this spectrum, you can look at two movies that came out in 2012. One was Lincoln, a pretty venerable work, and the other was Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Actually, a pretty fun one. They are both fiction about the 16th president of the United States, but with two totally different standards of veracity. When people go to see Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, they know then it's totally silly and not based on anything in reality. Pretty much any form of inaccuracy is forgivable in this, because there is no expectation of truth. If it misrepresents real-life events, like if a battle is at a different point in time, or people are living at points in which they did not, then you can call that out. But it's somewhat foolhardy to complain about inaccuracies in a movie where vampires exist. At the opposite end is Lincoln. Some people might be shocked to find out that it's actually a fiction movie, but it does something very different from Vampire Hunter. Spielberg was sort of trying to fill in the blanks of history with this movie. Anyone who's ever studied history will understand there's just a whole lot that we just don't know. These kinds of movies try to fill in those blanks with narrative that's sort of possible. But accuracy is key in these fill-in-the-blank type movies. They have to be possible. Lincoln does a roughly respectable job of this. It has its problems, but the characterization and the acting are just superb. Although all of that is impeccable, all the stuff with the backroom dealings and troubles has no basis in reality. Unfortunately, these blank filling films sometimes have a fairly pernicious effect. And there's one example of this that is far and away the worst. Oliver Stone's name is basically a curse word amongst historians. His movies like JFK, Nixon, W, The Doors, and Alexander are just the worst. Although I haven't seen it yet, Snowden is probably going to be just as horrible. Especially with JFK, he has spurred on a million conspiracy theorists on absolute hogwash. The problem is, a lot of people really believe these blank fillers, and that's really detrimental to history. The ignorant masses are far too easily gullible, and trash like Oliver Stone just prey on their weakness. But I love Stone's more fictional stuff like Wall Street and Platoon. Those movies fall further in between the historic fiction spectrum. But you can still criticize certain aspects of movies like Platoon, for things like tactics and mismatching events to reality. I have to emphasize that throughout all of these things, I still like a lot of the movies that I criticize on this channel. You can dislike certain aspects of something and still like the whole. For instance, I watched the movie Fury a little while ago, and as a tanker myself, I probably enjoy that movie a lot more than most people. There's only been four tank flicks, and I obviously don't include Tank Girl, and one of those wasn't even a war movie. I could go on and on about how I love Fury for how it has moral ambiguity in a World War II film, some of the harsh circumstances, and how they use actual Sherman tanks. 
but that doesn't mean that I didn't pause the movie halfway through and laugh at how they formed a tank column or how they worked with infantry. That was ridiculous. But it was one of the best movies of 2014 by far. There's still one more lingering problem that I have with historic fiction, though. Why do we need it? History is chock full of suitable stories for movie making. I hear no end of people saying this would make a great movie. So why bother making it up in the first place when we could be showing reality and get better movies out of it? Do we really have such bad screenwriters that they lack the imagination of most historians? I mean, seriously, how can a historian have a better imagination than a screenwriter? It shouldn't be. But apparently, in most cases, it's actually the truth. That all might be a bit too existential, though. Sometimes you just have to leave well enough alone. I might get around to making a more definite scale of historic fiction and how to criticize the inaccuracies in it, but as you can see, it's kind of hard to pin down. So help me out. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you have a way of defining what you can and cannot criticize? Should I do historic fiction as one of my Based on the True Story episodes? Blank fillers seem like the easiest targets, but there has to be a way of knowing if I'm going too far. I just don't know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some previous episodes while you're at it. I'll see you next time. Some of the harsh circumstances, harsh circumstances, harsh circumstances. Mm.